Hey everyone, it's Jen with Chaffee Plans. Thanks for joining me for today's bonus video. If you'd like to see what I'm gonna be doing today, stick around. Hey friends, I'm back. I'm back from California. I'm so excited to be back in my craft room, which is my happy place, my slice of heaven here on earth. I really appreciate each one of you for hanging out with me today in this bonus video. Uh, it became a big request for me to share my new weekly number 12 layouts from Jane's Agenda with y'all. And I'm so happy to be able to share a plan with me today. And I'm also gonna be featuring some goodies that Girl Boss Anna's company sent me. So they reached out and asked if I'd be willing to share some items from their shop. And of course I said yes, because I'm very, very intrigued by these. I do share these in tomorrow's Flip Through Friday haul as well. Uh, but today you'll get to see me use these in a plan with me. And I really like the colors that they sent. And I also did receive a couple of sampler sheets as well. They're kind of a combination of washi and stickers. So they're individually perforated washi tape overlays. They're these really awesome stickers and you can layer them up. You can use them in so many different ways. I've seen people use them as actual like water. So like if you've seen alcohol ink stickers, kind of like that, or using them for headers, using them to label things, using them just as a pop of color on the page, just like you might even use washi or a marker or highlighter. So I'm gonna use those in conjunction with the Functionally Chic Blue Blooms from Live Love Posh. And I also have the purple blooms as well in case I wanna use some of the boxes and or you know functional items in the sticker book. So I'm going to open up to the section of my planner which is for work. And my dividers are from, these clear dividers here are from Pleasantly Planned. So if you're interested, uh, make sure you check out her shop. And this is, the layout I've been using from Jane's Agenda. It's weekly number 12. So let me pull out the pages. I'm planning for September 5th through the 11th. This is my work planner, but you can use this layout for any of your weekly planning needs. So you could use it as your catch-all. You could use it for social media, health and wellness, faith journaling. This would be great because you could put your verse at the top and then you could write your journaling underneath. Uh, you have a space here for doodles or stickers or whatever you want. So for me, I thought this would work well and so far so good for work because it's very part-time and I do the majority of the work for the week on a Monday. So I've been using this whole section here for Monday and this whole section here. Um, so what I wanna do is get started with these overlay tapes. Very, very excited about these. I'm hoping the colors just coordinate perfectly with everything that I've got in mind. I'm gonna be using the florals from right here because I feel like these remind me a little bit of anemones, even though they're florals. I don't know what kind of florals they are. Don't ask me because I am not a plant person, but they kind of remind me of like the ocean just because of the shape and the texture of them. So since it's not quite fall yet, I am going to be using those. And I'm just gonna alternate. I really, I've never used these before. Uh, so I'm really excited to give them a shot. Look at how pretty that is. It just adds so much without doing too much. They're really easy to uh, peel up. Look at that, that is stunning. Wow. I love it. Yay. How exciting to get like a new product and be able to share it with y'all. So thank you to Girl Boss Anna for reaching out and for sending these to me. Oh, I just ripped one. Be careful. Be careful when you peel these. Okay. And then this one. I don't know if they have names for the colors. They probably do. I just didn't look yet. I was so I was so excited to start using them. I was like, let's just play with them right now. Okay. 
and then I can put this one down here. That is gorgeous. Like literally, that's really all you need. You don't even need to do anything else if you really don't wanna decorate. These are gonna be great on a monthly spread as well. And if you're someone like me who coordinates for the whole year and gives each person in the family a color, they'd be great for that too. So Monday is Labor Day and our office is closed. So I'm gonna use a little box to notate that. But what color? Ooh, see, these colors don't really go. Even though they're in the book, I don't know if I love the colors. Hmm. That's interesting that there's this really neon, like, not neon, but, like, really bright. What color is it? Like a cerulean? I don't know. Okay, so maybe... Oh, and these are different. I was not expecting that. Do you see that? These are a different shade than these. Okay. Um, that's fine. It's fine. I'm just going to put that the office is closed. Right here like so. Not like so, because I think that's crooked. <laughs> just kidding. Off to a great start, aren't we? All right, I'm gonna use my Pentel Energel. This is in 0.7 needle tip. Gosh, is that still crooked? Friends, it's slightly crooked. I am so sorry. It really is hard, whoops, and I ripped it. It's hard to get back into the flow when you've been out of it for so long. Like I haven't filmed a video in weeks. So I'm a little bit rusty. Now I've really, 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 really jacked up this sticker, but I'm still going to use it because I feel like it. <laughs> um, okay. All I wanted to put was that my office is closed. That's all I wanted to do. And so I like to use boxes for bigger events like that. So I'll be working Tuesday instead of on Monday. So let me grab some of these. Do I want these little squares or I want my zig markers. I kind of want to use just my zig markers. Uh, let's see, this color looks pretty close. Yep. And these are announcements. And then I will have a lot of to-dos on this day. So let me see, I know there are some functional. Here we go. Let's do like tasks maybe. Put that here. And then I will have like, um, I use this spot for our Zoom meetings to take notes. So maybe, let me go back to this and see if there's, oh, it's the same thing here though. Oh wait, no, these are the same color. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Maybe I'll just use this, this blue shade here. It's kind of close enough, right? Okay. And in this one, I will put meeting. Okay, and then I want a box for my tasks. Uh, let's see, I think they have some, there's some long ones in the back maybe, yeah. Let's do, uh, maybe I'll use blue since there's already a decent amount of purple. Let me use this one. Ah! Oh my goodness. It is, these are really sticky and it totally ripped the sticker. That's, look at that. That is, <laughs> somebody come get me off the struggle bus. What a waste of a beautiful large sticker. Okay, so 
be careful because this will want to roll up when you peel it off and do what just happened, which was kind of tragic if you ask me. All right. Okay, tasks. There it is. I know it comes down into meetings, but I don't care. I don't care about that. And I know I have a, uh, my husband's got worship practice Tuesday night and I have um, a prayer meeting. So let's see. Maybe I'll just use these for that purpose. And then I also need to make sure the announcements go out. So actually I'm probably gonna use a separate box for that. Announcements. And I will have an Instagram post here and an Instagram post here and a, oh, and a prayer. I need another box. I wanna see if I have this color box, although it's not gonna be the same color, but I have this like makeshift sticker book of boxes. Let's see, where's the blue? Yeah, I do. Okay, so for, I have to send out what we, it's called, it's called a flock note, but it's basically just a church text message. And I need to send that out as well on Tuesday. Okay. And I need to send one out on Thursday. Let's see. Oh no, don't tell me I don't have any other. Hmm. Oh, that, that'll work. Thursday is a flock note. Do you want it up here? Yeah. Okay, now let me look at this and see if that's super crooked because I feel like it is, but it's, honestly, it's hard to tell because there's these lines underneath. <laughs> I'm being picky, I know. Okay, and then Sunday is church. So I'm gonna bring in this blue again because for balancing. Balancing. So we have church. For some reason, I don't like them directly inside the box. I don't know why that is. Oh boy, this might just have to stay slightly crooked because I'll be honest, these stickers are not like the highest quality. They're pretty thin. The paper of the sticker is really thin and they're really, really sticky the adhesive so it's kind of like once they're down they're down um so just fyi so this is church but there are i need a spot for my this is where i put my hospitality person and my greeter because i'm in charge of that team and then i also have a course before church and I think I'm on the prayer team and I do the announcements so those are all going to be reminders for me okay I can I feel like I can start to use some decorative elements now so oh and I need to put a box over here for a heads up for me for like new folks so let's see Can go down here as well. Mm. Our church is pretty small, so it's not like we have <laughs> we have a ton of new folks like 
let us in your church. No, but it's okay. Let's see, I was gonna maybe put it there, but I don't know. It'd be cute here. Let me stick it to my hand first, because it is very sticky. <laughs> Okay. Now, a smart person would have put the decorative pieces down first and then done the boxes if they were going to go on top. But I like a challenge. <laughs> I will say the paper for Jane's Agenda is pretty forgiving. And that went down crooked, but that's okay. All right. Yeah, that's pretty. I do want to put one down here. Let's see. So I think I'm gonna do this big one like here, like this. And then I need my, hello, where's my exacto knife? Right here. And don't worry, this will not be the only spread that you'll see me do a plan with me in where I use these overlay tapes. I have some more ideas as well. Oh, let me move that over a little. Okay. I don't like to leave any little sticker bits behind. I like to use all of them. Okay, and I'm sorry if this video might be a little bit longer than normal because I'm not used to planning in this layout. So, just so you know. I did a couple like practice spreads just for, to see if, you know, I felt like I could do a plan with me video. <laughs> but obviously, they were, uh, whoops, they were just practice runs, so. Okay, that's cute. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Alrighty, I need to use this $1.25 tree tool. This thing is amazing for pressing down your clear stickers because it really adheres it to the page. It smooths out, you know, little bubbles or wrinkles. Granted, you know, like if you didn't make it super, put it on super jacked up. But if you're someone like me and you care about how your clear stickers look on your paper, then you want to pick this tool up. It's $1.25. I mean, definitely worth it, in my opinion. Okay, this overlay sticker got a little jacked up on the top, so I'm just going to trim it and take that part off. Because that's going to bother me. That is stunning. So the second half of the week, I just dropped my $1.25 tree toy. <laughs> is really, really chill for me. And so I am just going to use some stickers to add decoration to the page. And that's probably gonna be it. Let's see, do I want it this way? Or like this? All right, I'm gonna put this one up here. Usually I use washi tape, but I felt like I didn't want it to take away from the effect of the overlay tapes, if that makes sense. So I did not use washi. Oop, that got a wrinkle. But the $1.25 tree tool smoothed it out.
And let's see. All right, this corner sticker here. Be good right there. Of course, I put it on slightly crooked, but whatevs, it's not a huge deal. Need something here. This big rose. Like this, maybe? Okay. And then I'm going to need to do my same thing over here. I've got some floral bits on the top on the left side of the page. So I have to do, for balance's sake, do some on the right. Ah, did you see? That went down crooked, no. So we had a great time in Cali, great time. We, the time change was a little rough for me. I didn't think it was going to be, so I guess that sort of was humbling. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, Nora did great with the time change. She took a nap like one day and then she was basically on Cali time. So, um, yeah, we had so much fun. We went to the zoo, the San Diego Zoo. We went to SeaWorld. Um, we went to La Hala. We went to... Uh, Belmont Park, Mission Bay. I got to meet up with Anne of Plants for the Nguyen. Uh, she is awesome. She used to be on Happy Planner Squad, I think. So let's see how these two look next to each other. Yes, yeah, see, there needs to be something in the top. Mm. Okay, great. Snippity snip. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, so this is for new folks. And then what did I say I had to do over here? Announcements. And this is a flock note. I'm sorry if you can hear my child. She's having a play date right now and they're playing Barbies. And they're not being very quiet. So this is Instagram. Instagram. Flock note. Uh, this one is for prayer. And then Matt has worship practice. I have to fill it in now or I will forget. I don't usually write in my planner on these videos, but I do for work. <laughs> so if you wanna see me write in my planner, this is the video to make sure you don't miss. Okay, and then the um, hospitality and greeter. And then I have uh, vineyard values, which is the little course that I have to be at. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm, I am on the prayer team. I don't, I know it's either this Sunday or next Sunday. Okay. All right, friends. So there we have it. This is my plan with me in my, these are called weekly layout number 12 by Jane's Agenda. I link them in my description box for you. I do have uh, an affiliate link with the code. If it's your first time shopping through Jane's Agenda, you can get 15% off your order, which is pretty nice. If uh, you are a return Jane's Agenda, buyer 
I would appreciate using my affiliate link. It doesn't give you anything, but it does help me out a little bit. And I will also link Girl Boss Anna's overlay tapes that I have used in this plan with me and also the website for you to shop. I also have a discount code for you there. Now, let me know if you have any questions about the overlay tapes. Uh, I think they're really versatile and they're going to be able to be used in lots of different ways. Like I said, in place of a marker or a mild liner, in place of washi, in place of even a box, if you just want to write underneath it and then put the washi light over top, lots of ways that you're going to be able to use these. So I really love how they add color and make a whole spread come together. Let me know what you think about these. If you have these, if you've used them, if you have, I can see this becoming a quick, uh, quickly growing obsession for me. Um, but thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. If you did like this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss my content. And I will see you next time, friends. Take care and remember you are enough. Bye-bye.